Hey guys, this is Oren Malul, analyzing real life scenarios caught on tape. We're going to dive into our scenario. Let's see what we got today. Thanks, Leo. So let's see what we got here. As you can see, we have a woman here and a man simply have a, having a discussion, first of all. So you can see that this guy is threading her, telling her to sit down. And soon you're going to be able to see that this guy has a gun. Now, look like this woman is um, kind of his hostage. When she's tied up here, her hands look like they're tied up. And he is, the attacker here, is threading her with a gun. So, a couple of shots here that we can see when she is tied up. And he is threading her with a gun. Now, let's see what we can do. Not an easy scenario to handle. So first of all, if we're going to speak about the gun, um, of course, the last option is to react. You don't want to resist the attacker if it's a robber or anything like that. Give your money. This is a usual advice. Uh, your last option is definitely to react just if you're in immediate life danger. Um, we've seen in Israel scenarios like uh, soldiers that are, that are being kidnapped. So that might be one of the scenarios to do some, something because usually the other location or uh, what's happening after is, um, is not that great. In our scenario, the attacker is in a range of reach. That means the gun is usually pointed to the attacker this way, that way, or when she's sitting, even he speaks to her with the gun, okay? So let's see what we could do here. Lee, you're pointing the gun. Right? You can even load it. The moment you are seeing me resisting, you're going to shoot. Okay, oh, whoop. So as you were able to see, I used the element of surprise while I was speaking to Leo. So same here. If I am here in this scenario and the attacker is with the gun, you're gonna, if you're going to react and if you're making the decision, this is your last chance and you gotta do something, do it while you're speaking. No, please don't hurt me. Boom. Now pay attention that the hands that are tied up, uh, of course that that's not comfortable, but I can still reach the gun. And what I do is I go one hand to the barrel, the other hand grabbing the back of the gun, right? Here when I'm sitting, um, it's on one hand, I'm in a disadvantage, but on the other hand, what the attacker is gonna do here is he's gonna pull the gun, helping me to stand up, boom, to a kick, kick, right? So maybe knee to the face. Pay attention that always the barrel is not pointing me, right? If there are people around not pointing towards the people, definitely pointing towards the ground. Okay, so one more time. Bring my hands up, speaking to the attacker, distracting him, please, no, maybe take my wallet, boom. One hand to the barrel, the other hand to the back of the gun. Even though my hands are tied up, I'm able to do so. Pay attention that I redirect the gun diagonally forward. So if he's pulling the gun and seeing my motion, right? And he's pulling the gun, whoop, I am jumping on the gun, okay? Maybe standing up, or maybe if he's close enough, here. If he's gonna pull the gun, oh, I'm standing up with him. My hand is anchored to the back of the gun, and here, barrel towards the ground, I'm having the kicks, I'm having the knees, right? Pay attention that my body goes to his backside. If I would redirect the gun here, I'm getting into a problem. Even though there is something you could do, but we definitely want to pick going to the backside because from here, he's having a harder time to fight me back. Right, Leo, try to punch me from here. That's not going to be that comfortable. Now from here, I'm with both hands on the gun. He's with one hand. And from here, I'm going to disarm the gun by putting pressure, leverage, shoulder to shoulder, boom. Okay, one more time, the disarm. Okay, so pay attention, the one hand is on the barrel, the other hand is on the back of the gun. If he's gonna be pulling the gun from here, boom, I'm connected to it. Barrel always pointing the ground. Here, I'm gonna lean forward, put leverage on his finger here, possible even to break his finger. Now, breaking the finger is not necessarily what I want. I just want the gun, so one and two. Distance. Okay, now here I'm gonna have to handle the gun when my hands are tied up, but it's possible as you can see. 
it's possible even to load the gun. And I'm here getting into an advantage from the disadvantage I was at. One more time, you're here. No, please, maybe take my wallet. No, leave me alone. Oh, boom, boom. You're trying even to pull the gun, Leo. Oh, and I'm here with the leverage, already taking the gun. And I'm in control of the scenario. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.